Well, whenever anyone asked me, like, what's the one movie you want to do? And if there was one, I'd always say it'd be Wicked. On my 25th birthday, I took myself to see the show. I'd never heard anything or seen anything like it. I remember that. It was like a rainy night, and I felt really alive. I felt like I was floating on air. I had the incredible privilege of seeing the original Broadway cast of Wicked when I was 10, and I just felt an immediate bond. I'm sure that you have dreamed of playing one of the two roles. Would you be Elphaba or Glinda? Glinda? You'd be Glinda. For sure. It had a very personal effect on me. This is a very cinematic show. This should be on the big screen. There's sort of this innate understanding of what it feels like to be someone who's different. It's always been the thing that I listen to when I'm nervous, when I'm needing an escape, when I need comfort. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I went in for my first audition, and I just remember being, like, buzzing. And when she came in, she was an Ari that I'd never seen before. And then I got the call to come in. Cynthia is so raw and vulnerable and um, I couldn't get her out of my head. The world needs to see more of you, and we would love for you to be our alphabet. It's been a really long journey, and I'm really grateful for it. I never thought in my lifetime <laughs> that I would get to be a part of something like this. We want you to be our Galinda the Good. I want people to see Wicked and experience it in a way they've never experienced it before. I want them to feel what I felt going into that theater for the first time. I want to make them laugh, to make them sing, to make them feel that after they've watched it, they've been changed for good. <laughs> Three, two, one. Can I call you Elfie? Well, it's a little bit perky. I know. And you can call me Galinda. That is your name. Let's not quarrel. There's a lot of people who love Wicked. There's a lot of people who need Wicked. It truly really resonates with me because it lands on the idea that the possibilities in any person are endless. Stop! <laughs> Once you learn to harness your emotions, the sky's the limit. That is amazing. As a fan, as a person who's loved this for 20 years, I know that this fights for truth and the complexities of being misunderstood. You, come with me. Of course. Not you. You, Miss Alphaba. It touched on the things that I love and know, going to college, meeting friends, saying goodbye to friends. This is a magical place. And that life there is exciting. It's the place where your dreams begin. It is my heart's desire to become a sorceress. Thank you. And it's all about identity, I think, and finding yourself and aligning what your belief system is with your actions. No one should be scorned or laughed at or told to keep quiet. It's very much a story about discovery. We animals are now being blamed for everything that goes wrong. Fighting for who you are. Listen to me! You're not being told the whole story! You can't permit this. I'm afraid it's out of our hands. Are we all just gonna sit here in silence? Well, someone's got to do something. Wicked was about a relationship with other people and the quality of those relationships can transform your life. Quickly, get on. Come with me. It speaks to so many things now. Making it not just entertaining <laughs> and hilarious and exciting and thrilling and nourishing in those senses, but also vital. You have no real power. That undying spirit is at the heart of Wicked. You did it. You actually did it. And to have this film at this moment, urgently at this moment, means the world. If there are no further questions, I'm 
gonna go. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Ari. Here we go. Let's shoot. After you, madame. <laughs> Let's see. Pink goes good with green. Goes well with green. <laughs> it so does. <laughs> Wicked to me, at its very core, is about friendship. What are you staring at? Do I have something in my teeth? And it starts with a really fun look at how these two young women, who are so different from each other, are forced to be roommates and don't get along at all. Oh, I saved you some space, by the way. Do you really think this is fair? I do not. I was promised a private suite. But thanks for asking. <laughs> it's like, cool, you're a... And you're this, and I'm this. You get to see us at our worst. It seems the artichoke is steamed. <laughs> And so we have to learn about each other to get to know each other. And how hard change can be, how complicated people really are. She doesn't give a twig what anyone thinks. Of course she does. She just pretends not to. These two very different women just fall completely in love with each other. And that is mirrored experience of what happened with Cynthia and I. We just sort of, I, get, I got chills. We, we both just like found each other, I guess. Oh, hello. <laughs> we just got each other immediately. Toss, toss. Toss, toss. There's a wild sort of soul connection between the two of them. Just such a complimenting chemistry. But they're so different. Say something. Say something. Say something. Say something. Their friendship. It's going to bring a humanity to this film that they both deeply personally understand. It's understanding that those who are different are just different, and that is really special. I'm coming. <laughs> My favorite thing about Wicked is that we can all identify pieces of ourselves within both Alphaba and Galinda. You can do this. You can do anything. I think that we are all deserving of friendship and kindness and love, no matter who we are. Yeah. And this film celebrates that. They are gonna miss me so much. Come with me. Think of what we could do together. We knew that we wanted Wicked to be immersive. What does it feel like to be in Oz? to feel it in your fingertips. If you want to be inside that world, you gotta build it. You gotta build Emerald City. You gotta build Munchkin Land. To see all that detail, all of it adds to the things that you can imagine. A lot of it is real, physical, tangible sets. We gotta grow nine million tulips. The good news is the train, which takes two days to move because it's 16 tons, is here now. Come with me. What? To meet the wizard. Why couldn't Tesla be? This is your moment. I'm coming. I am the great and Once you learn to harness your emotions, the sky's the limit. This forest is enormous, but it's all in the details. <laughs> all of this didn't just take production design, it took special effects, it took visual effects. It's pretty mind-blowing to think that it can go from drawings and ideas and a dream to sitting here today. It's wonderful to be able to touch the space and create this world in a way we've never seen it before.